Look at that smile. guys good morning and welcome back to the roddy channel so in today's video we're going to be doing what you guys have asked to see which is day in the life of a rottweiler so it is a saturday morning 6 a.m just getting up for work but i do get to work from home today so i am going to make this video the dogs are just waking up you hear key to yawn you see fluffy get here on the bed i'm gonna go ahead and get up and uh I'll get the light turned on here so that you can see what it looks like when these guys wake up. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This guy's always the last one to wake up. Usually doesn't wake up until like at least I'm right about to leave the house. These guys get up right and early with me. Fluffy is up, already up this morning. The uh, the star of attention here says that it's not time to go shower. Huh? 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 You do want me to go shower? No shower today? Okay. All right, let's go shower. You guys, what are you doing? <laughs> This is a cute boy, starting the day off hanging out with dad early. Alrighty, let's go see what the rest are doing. Well, of course you're waiting there for me. Yeah, of course you're waiting there for me. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, lovers? Oh, hey mama. Alrighty, so now that I am showered and partially ready for the day, we're gonna go ahead and get the dogs fed because they're up and going and ready to go. So, um, I'm gonna feed you guys, but can you go lay down? Come on, come on, go lay down. Go to bed, go to bed. Okay, stay. Kida, don't you think about it. I see your tail wagging. So, try and do this with one hand here. Alright, so we do have two cups of dry kibble in the morning for each dog. salmon oil here put the link down in the description for those of you guys who are new to the channel
Alrighty, so while those guys finish eating, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up their water bowl, which I use one of these guys right here. I am gonna go, now that those guys have gone ahead and ate and everything, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my paperwork for the morning. So I am an area manager for a food company called Jimmy John's. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my paperwork on that real fast and they will come hang out with me in the office. Typically they never don't come hang out in the office with me because this is usually about the time that I'm getting ready to go to work and they know that so they'll come spend as much time with me as possible. Alrighty, come on, let's go get our work done. So this is the office where I get most of my work done. So we'll go ahead and pop this up on the stand here. And uh, show you guys kind of how it's like while the dogs hang out for a minute while I do my paperwork. Hey, baby girl. Hey. Hey. What's up? What's up? Distraction thing one and thing two. All right. Okay, perfect. All right, man. I'll, I'll be at home all day and I'll have my phone on me. So if you need anything, give me a call. Perfect. Sounds good, man. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. All right, bye-bye. All right, so typically what I do for work is, well, in the morning, what I do for work is I call the stores, I check in, I make sure, one, that they're staffed for the day, I check in with their numbers from the day before, and then I make sure that if they have any issues, then I can address them. So I'll take a note down of all the issues that they're having, um, equipment that's failing, anything that they need, errands ran that they need, supplies for the stores that they need from your local supermarket. Um, so that's kind of just a rundown of what I'm doing right now. As you can tell, the dogs have already practically gone back to sleep. So what I'm getting at is that I should probably be a dog for a full-time job because it would be much easier. Yeah. So this is pretty much what the morning looks like for me. Okay, we're all done for the day. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? We're done working. Oh man, you got an eye boogie. Hi, Boogie. We did just get a bath about two days ago. So we're looking really good here. Practically no hair coming out at all. So, uh, yeah. What do you think? What do you think, Kenai? What do you think we should do now? What do you think we should do now? I think we should go fill up the water cup. I think we should make a cup of coffee. And I think we should get to work. The sun still is not up yet. but However, it is coming up. So... We have, oh, it's cold out here. It's cold. So this morning it is currently 16 degrees here in Utah. And I now understand why you haven't gone outside yet, Fluff and Kita. Kita has gone back to bed. The only thing is her bed's right here. That's her bed now. It's not my bed anymore. So anyway, let's go make a cup of coffee and get a cup of water and then we'll get the day started. How about that? This cup right here, a YouTube subscriber of my personal channel. If you haven't seen it yet, be sure to click on the link in the description. I'll put it in there. But a uh, YouTube subscriber had this made for me. Pretty cool. That's my truck and my camper with my YouTube and Instagram on it. And then it has my YouTube and Instagram over here. I am so blessed to have some of the followers and support that I do. Come on. Let's go, let's go. And let's let's put a beanie on because I'm not dealing with my hair all day. All right, let's do this. I think we need some Roddy Channel beanies. Hmm, there's an idea. There's an idea. Okay, come on, let's go make some coffee. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Oh, such a good girl, she's gonna go outside. Because she always does. And then the boys are going to wait for me. And here comes Kita. Yep. 
It's weird. It's almost like this is actually our daily routine. Hi, huh, buddy. What's up, buddy? What's up, what's up, mama? All right, so for my coffee machine, I am using this Keurig 2.0. It's awesome. Keeps the water heated even when I'm not using it. Strong blend, 12 ounce cup. We're gonna move this tray out of the way. And that is ready to dispense. So we're gonna go ahead and get that made. Go ahead and get my water cup filled. Yes, you can drink water straight from the tap here. It is delicious. Tastes even better than bottled water, in my opinion. Some ice in there, perfect. The coffee just finished, so let's go ahead, add some creamer in there, and let's get that drink, and uh, on my way with the day. Oh man, he dropped it on the floor. What are you doing? So the next part of my daily routine is to feed my fish, Jack. I can't even enjoy my coffee in peace, man. What is it? What is it? This dude's trying to look up on my coffee. Hey, can I, can I finish my coffee in peace or what? Oh man, how do you say no to that? I'm not going anywhere today though. You get me all day. All day. If you guys are returning back to the channel, you guys know I work a lot. So it's really hard for these guys because yeah, I do have to be gone a lot, but it's easier for them because there is three of them. They don't really get that loneliness. Um, if you guys are Roddy owners, which I imagine you are coming back to the channel, but you know, there's some people who have told me that they don't even have dogs. They just enjoy watching our content. But uh, you guys know that Roddy's suffer from separation anxiety. And uh, if you'd like to see a video on how to deal with that stuff or stuff that we use to deal with that, drop a comment down below and let us know. Be sure to be active in the comments because we love hearing from you guys. Uh, one thing that I forgot is my daily, part of my daily routine, which I didn't do today because I stayed up last night doing it. But uh, after or before I do my other work, depending on when I wake up or what I have going in the day, I go through and I answer every single one of my YouTube comments. I mean, even even some that I really am like, I don't even know how to reply to this. I'll still sit there and think of a reply and try and get back to you guys because without you guys, this channel wouldn't really be happening. Um, I appreciate all the love and support you guys give us. So, uh, so be sure to smash that like button if you guys are enjoying the content we put out because it really does help us. It helps us get the videos out there to more people. My ultimate goal is to be able to stay home with these guys every single day, bring you guys as much content as possible, bring my other channel as much content as possible, and uh, really just be a full-time vlogger. So smashing that like button will really help me get to that goal. I think you, I, uh, I just appreciate you guys so much. Thanks. Okay, but can we just talk about how cute this is? Oh. Kina boy. Kina boy. Hey mama. Hi pretty lady. What's up, what's up buddy?
できない。What's up, baby girl? What's up, baby girl? I'm gonna pet her with my coffee cup because I don't have a free hand right now. And Kina's giving Mama some love too. Clean up those eye boogies, huh, weirdos? Huh. <laughs> oh my god. Man, these guys crack me up. Hey, be nice to her. What are you doing? Here comes Fluffy. To assess the situation. What is it, buddy? What is it? Here comes the paw. Here comes the paw for Fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. At least the sun is up now. It looks like we got a high of 27 degrees today. So I guess as long as I keep putting it off, I'm not really getting much warmer. But uh, anyway, the sun is up now, so I guess I'll go ahead and get started. I am going to head over to my barn and grab the wood that I need. I'm going to bring it back over to the garage. So in today's video, I'm gonna be building a fireplace mantle and TV stand. Now I've already started the TV stand and put in the fireplace and put shiplap on. So now I'm gonna be building the base and uh, putting the mantle up. So in the beginning of the video, you may have saw the mantle just sitting there, but today I'm gonna to be going and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, caulk it, screw it down, seal it, and put uh, put bore or put uh, wood on the front of that little box that I've already built. So I'll show you a before picture of what we're working on. A couple during pictures right here. I'm pretty excited about this and we got it done pretty fast. So it's almost time for lunch, but I got the whole box down on the bottom. Now I am gonna be leaving the wood that color. These pillars do come from an Idaho forest and they were hand hacked and cut and everything. So uh, I really like those. These were one piece. I cut and split them down the middle and this was a 16 inch board. I cut and split it. I didn't wanna close off too much of my room. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this white and then we'll put all of our corner caps on and everything and then we'll be completely done. Look, I think the dogs are more exhausted than I am, and I'm not really that exhausted, but everything's caulked and ready to go, so I'm just gonna let it dry. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some lunch. Okay, what's up, man? What's up, what's up? I did go ahead and throw their sheets on their doggy bed in the washer so that we can get them on new sheets. Huh, buddy? Huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up, Kenai? What's up, buddy? What's up? What's up, what's up? How about this? 
I'm gonna go eat some lunch and then we'll come back and then we will uh, we'll get their exercise in for the day and we will show you guys what that looks like. So we had to come take a taco break. We came to my buddy's taco truck and we got some dang food. Okay, so now that I have that all wrapped up, I'm not gonna do those pieces today because I am running out of time and Fluffy wants to play. So the bed sheets are getting cleaned right now. We're airing out the room, cleaning out the room. So we're gonna go take the dogs outside and go play for some puppy play time. Let's go get at it. Go. You couldn't come outside without your freaking toy, huh? All right, so I'm gonna put my gloves on because it's freezing. And let's go play. Come on, let me play. Sit. Stay. Stay. All right, let's go get it. Well, no interest. All right, so I gotta go start my camper. And I've got to let the generator run and I gotta let the furnace run because we don't wanna let it sit for four whole months. So pretty much, we just bring them out here, let them run, let them explore, get their fix in, and get all their energy out. What'd you do with your toy? Where's your toy? Where's your toy? Huh? Come here. What's up, mama girl? Kita Kita. What are you doing? So yeah, pretty much we just come out here, let them get all their energy out. They kind of just run, they explore, they sniff everywhere. You know, they even chase some birds. Those birds that are still here, of course. There's not a lot, but if you listen, you can hear, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there is actually quite a bit of birds for being January and currently 24 degrees out here. I don't, I didn't ever see it get up to 27, by the way. 24 degrees all day. What are you doing? Back playing by the boat? You wanna go boating? We're gonna have to wait till the lakes melt. Go boating. Come here. Ready? 
Kina, you wanna go play with us? Over here, we have the neighbor's cows. The neighbors are actually out feeding them, it looks like right now. But uh, these guys will come back and they'll chase the cows and bark at them. Doing their natural job as herders. What's up, buddy? What's up? You guys see the cows over there? Ida, what you find back there? What you finding? What you finding? What's up, buddy? What's up? You guys wanna go back to the yard? You wanna go back? It's right here. Oh. Right here. You definitely can't tell you're an old man, can you now, Kenai? Can ya? <laughs> can ya? Oh boy, oh boy. Look at that smile. So real quick, just so you guys know, this barn right here is also mine, and I plan to frame this in and build a two bedroom apartment and rent this out. So if you wanna see that series, be sure to subscribe to my personal channel. Link will be down in the description below. I'll also put it up right here on the screen so you can find it. Come on, Kita. I don't know if Kita's done playing yet. Come on, baby girl. Come on, pretty. Woo, cross the finish line, nice. All right, so we lock that, and then we latch this just to make sure they don't push it open. Double, double security. What do you say, you're not done? Not done? Hey mama, you guys seem tired to me. Run out of that energy. What do you say? You guys ready? Come on, let's go inside. Let's go inside. Come on. Come on. So of course, since I was making this video, I forgot to pull out the dog's food, but I'll go ahead and do that now. So we'll pull that out. We're gonna let that thaw out so that they can eat tonight. It is 4.30 and they eat at about six to eight o'clock. So I'm gonna have to thaw this out just a little bit. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. So since it's 4.30 already and I forgot to pull these out, I am gonna thaw them out in the sink. So I've got like warm water here, but not really warm. I mean, a little over room temperature just to get them thawed out in time so we need this to thaw for about an hour and a half before they eat now as far as that goes after dinner time really they don't do anything but chill and work with me so i usually work on my youtube channel from 
4.30 in the afternoon till about 10. I do work on my two channels. Now, that depends on work. Like I can get off work and I can get home sometimes at six, seven o'clock at night, um, start work at four or five, six in the morning. Today's a Saturday. I was able to sleep until six o'clock, but I didn't get to bed until three. So like I said before, a rough night for me. Alrighty guys, so it is seven o'clock. So we're still within that six to eight hour range that we did. We do have both the bags of food thawed out and ready to go for the dogs. So this one's got turkey, ground turkey. We've got carrots and broccoli. This one has raw chicken breast and broccoli. We did have some cooked chicken from a meal that we made a couple days ago that we're not gonna use for ourselves and just a tiny bit of milk left over. So I do have their turmeric pills in there. I've got a little bit of milk, a little bit of cooked chicken that we boiled and now we're gonna portion this out and we're gonna throw it in there so for this bag this one's super simple we we'll put a little bit of chicken juice in each one and one piece of broccoli one raw chicken breast actually it looks like I put two smaller ones in that one and then a normal size one there and normal size one there now I'm gonna go ahead and separate these out. So we do get one carrot. Oh, I closed that one. One carrot per dog. This one's down in the bottom there. So if you guys wanna see a video on how I meal prep for these guys, go ahead and drop that down in the comments. And if I get 20 people to request it, I'll do a video on that. Don't forget to smash that like button while you're at it. But uh, there's also a piece of broccoli in, in this bag as well for each dog. So we're gonna go ahead and drop that in there. One right there. So now we're gonna go ahead and portion this out. So we'll throw it on here. I do have our dinner set aside right here. We're gonna be doing steaks and french fries as well as some bush baked beans. So if there's any bush executives watching this video, be sure to drop that sponsor down in the comments as well. Just kidding, kinda, just kidding. All right, so for that ground turkey, we are gonna go ahead and just portion it out. This right here, I believe, is just a pound of it, so we're gonna go ahead and split that up. Now, obviously, if you guys only have one dog, this is gonna be a lot easier to prep for, but uh, as we have three, if I were to separate every single bag for every portion of me, it would be like, I would have like 150 bags for a month of food considering that we do veggies, chicken, turkey, all sorts of stuff. So let's go ahead and bring the dogs down, get them fed, we'll put them to bed and then we'll go ahead and cook our food. So I will be right back. Come here, mama. Sit. 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 I need you guys to stay. Okay? I need you to stay. You stay right there. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Okay, come on. Alrighty guys, so thank you for watching A Day in the Life of Rottweilers with me, Colin Bracken. If you guys like this video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any future content. We're going to be bringing you dog videos two times a week, 2021. Here we go. This is our year. So thank you guys again for watching and we will see you on the next one. Peace out.